man, you come straight out of a cunt. So, you know what I'm saying? We cover a lot of conventions as press. So, I, like, bro, I call the Sega Genesis plus, like, Aladdin, Barkley, Shut Up and Jam, Mortal Kombat 2, all for, like, 40 bucks. Like, I'm a, I'm, like, I'm good at, like, hunting. Mm-hmm. So, bro, I was at, you, y- y'all know how convention booths be and shit like that. Yeah, right? yeah, I see this one booth and they got all this stuff in it. I'm like, yo, all right, this is dope. I'm just looking for some stuff. But I go around to the side, like the one that's more so facing the con, so not the actual inner workings of it. And he still had a whole bunch of stuff on the side. But deep in the back corner, it was this like, you know how when you got like an old bag in the basement and it started getting like yellow and cloudy? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I see this and I see this helmet. I said, Yo, what I said, is that a star? Is that a is that a Star Wars joint? And I said, wait a minute. And then so I hit him up. And I said, bro, I see this helmet over there. And I said, it say $25. Now, granted, it, it was it wasn't labeled or anything. It looked like he pulled it out of his basement. He was like, oh, if it got 25 on it, it's 25. When I brought it over to him, his face sunk. He was like, Oh, I didn't know it was that one. I said, but it, hey, got the 25. So oh I got snap! You got him with twenty five. Hey, yo, yo, he, oh. Oh. I see why he was hurt though. I see mm-hmm. why he hurt. Yeah, that That's him a in his soul. Helmet. That was yeah. that was deep. Damn, man. But yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of the Comic Book. Of course, I'm your host, Will Ferrell. As you can see, man, it is a galactic type of feel here. On today's episode, man, it is Star Wars out. All right, man. Thanks to the Mandalorian season three uh, dropping now on Disney Plus, man. We want to do something Star Wars based for y'all, and so of course I had to bring some of the big heavy hitters that I know who are huge Star Wars fans. Of course, Young Deuce is in the building. Brandon Brody is in the building, and I got two new guests with me. Uh, the first one I'm bringing up is, of course, uh, I, I know him as JP, but for a lot of you, you know him as a cosplayer who has done some incredible cosplays throughout uh, with Batman Beyond from uh, some of the crazy mm. Sith designs we've seen, man. But you know him as the Geek Insider, always giving you some of the dopest news, too, that's dropping out. Happy to have you here, good sir. And of course, uh, down below on there, no different as well. You know him for some of his great hip hop tracks that he's always dropping, some incredible freestyles that he has. But if you really do know this cat, you know him as the Inferno Ranger. You can see him Damn. in all kind of cosplays. <laughs> you can see him in all kind of different videos of most YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. ATO Worldwide is here Probably, yeah. as well. Hey. In the building. How y'all doing, fellas? Happy to have y'all here today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I'm excited to be Appreciate here, bro. You. I'm happy to. I'm happy to be here. You know, damn, this is dope. I'm like, golly, this is this crazy, right? Sheesh. You already know. Well, you say Star Wars, I say yes. Yep. yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I and I was glad that you said yes to this one because this one is like my favorite. And so uh, today, uh, of course, we're getting into our fandom fiction. And so if you're a fan of the show, you have seen us create characters on the MCU. That's where the infamous Captain Keloy that's been circling around the Internet came from. And so we want to keep expanding out. And today is no different. So my guests are going to be dropping out with some of their own Star Wars characters that they would be in this universe, but we're going to get into that later in this episode. Of course, we have got to start with our hot topic. Hot topic, of course, is the trending topic that's going on. And of course, in the Star Wars base, Mandalorian is back. Mando has returned. It is time for us for the way. This is the way. This is the way. Um, So has everybody seen the first first, uh, episode? Twice, yeah, absolutely. Two times. Twice. I even had my girl watching, and she was like, "Oh, okay, I see what you're doing." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Will, you know, we, you know, we doing content for Sway's universe, so we reviewed it. So you know, what I'm saying for him, right. and yes, yeah. yes, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. So, but that that's why I'm gonna go ahead and let uh, I'm gonna let JP go first because if y'all want to, y'all can also check out uh, Deuce's reviews with the Geek Set Podcast and Sway for. The Mandalorian on his page as well. You can check the link that's popping up right here. Uh JP, overall from a scale of one to ten, how you feeling about the first episode? Oh, uh first episode was a solid 10 for me because it was uh it was mixed with a lot of uh, a lot of good early callbacks, but also um it set the tone because like it, it I don't know, like 
you, you finish off the season with this big question like this the show is called the mandalorian so right like mm-hmm. if he loses his honor like what you know what are we even watching anymore right even he's mandalorian no more so you already kind of get the idea that that this next season is kind of going to be a, one of those like suicide mission kind of episodes because there's only one way for him to regain that honor right but to set the stakes the way that they did uh it really had a lot of good um good moments where it makes you wonder oh man how is this going to play out and you say it to yourself more than once in, in within the episode yeah yeah all right i feel that brody how about yourself scale one to tell on the first episode how you feeling about it? <clears throat> first episode i absolutely give it a 10 i mean just from out the gate, before they even dropped the 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 show logo, man, that opening sequence was fantastic, bro. bro. <laughs> like, like, like it was just so like the build up, just seeing the ceremony, seeing all those Mandalorians just standing next yeah, to each yeah. other, yo. Like yeah, I, I mean, yeah. seeing everyone's detail, like the detail in their costumes, seeing young little man- Mandos in training, like yeah, that yeah. was fire. Like like uh, uh, you know, the, so the kids basically about to be knighted, you know, and then that big ass creature jumped out, and I was like, yo. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I love when they I love when they do the big because they they're allowed to go as big as they want you know the Rancor was the biggest for for a long time and then uh, episode one started introducing you know those big ass sea creatures and, mm-hmm. and you know just all types of of larger so I love seeing the huge scale creatures man I was like oh the way through yeah I like bro that. when when that creature did the barrel roll I was like fam this Ooh, he, I was like I said the nigga got hey. move sets. He got moves, <laughs> bro. Yeah, like <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying this monster hunter now. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah, the way yeah, that right. the, the way that Mando and Grogu pulled up on them, like, hey, yo, well, y'all, 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 y'all needed the, help. The like, way he yeah. popped up out the yo, and then, and, just, then they, and then they dropped. <laughs> I was just wishing he'd have thrown up a gang yeah. sign, just pulled up. Right. Just, yeah. <laughs> now he's like, this is the way. He's like, this, this is, is the way, way, my nigga. Hey, and then we mm. got we got to talk about the come up of my nigga Grief. That nigga was dripped yeah. out. Hey, Ooh. Man, the car, conversation okay. that he had with Mando, like, hey, he's like, you still out here bounty hunting? Like, come get this money. Look at all this money, bro. Like, he's he's like, like yeah, I got bitches in this room. When you know, hey, hold up. When you know, Action Jackson out here dripped up, right? Right. You know what's, mm-hmm. a, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then he pulled. What Buddy was talking about, he wanted a drink. He was like, "Not in my school, my guy." Not in my school, oh. my guy. Hey, oh. when because he because he, he tried to hold. He said, "You got soft." And what yeah. I liked about it, and what we said on the podcast, I was like, I like that. Even though Mando is there. Grief was like, oh, I'm good. Cause he was like, when he was like, man, you got soft. That nigga showed the pistol, like, nigga, am I? Like, what you trying yeah, to do? Dang, um, what you <laughs> trying to up. do? <laughs> don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't let the galactic Gucci fool you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 this is what I was gonna say. He was rocking this. Your man was dressed like this. He had the royal guard garb on. You feel right. me? Yeah. He's dressed hey, like a royal trade, guard, bro. Trade, right. Trademark that right now, Will, before somebody steal it. That Galactic Gucci. Oh, that right. Galactic right. Gucci. Right. Like right now. Let's go. Galactic Gucci, yeah. Everything but, about uh, that episode was so fucking dope, bro. It showed that Mando was a badass. Yeah, it yeah. showed, like I said, the come up. It showed, it, it gave us the foresight of what's about to happen because we know we're about mm-hmm. to be on Mandalore, like really exploring that and going into that. I like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it showed that Mando was such a badass. Like, he trying to cheat Grogu. The pirates come, and he's like, yeah, I mean, we got some pirates. Handle them real quick. Like, let me go ahead and let, let's get these niggas out the way. Because the big boss was like, bro, you outgunned. Mando was like, really? Hit the knives on him? That nigga hit I love this episode. This episode was so fire, dog. When he said, when he said, he said his name is Grogu. Mm. Right. I was he like, put some yo. respect on his name. Yeah, but, 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 but how my man was still like, all right, whatever. But like I said, <laughs> yeah. if you yeah. love to have him stay here, yeah, right. that's good. But uh, yeah, that's, ATL, that's... How, how you feel from one to ten? Are you the same like them? Was it a ten bro, for the first episode? I mean, nah, I ain't no ten, bro. Like for me, that shit is a twenty. Damn, <laughs> you almost had me nervous, bro. <laughs> nah, I was, I was nah, bro. Really, it was perfect, man. Um, dude, like the the whole like the okay when they was doing like the, uh, all the whole lines of like Mandalorians and then the, the youngins that was fire, right? Even it reminded me of some Halo stuff where they had the big brute, the dude with the big ass yeah. gun. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. And then so Paz he came in, 
And and I, it kind of threw me a little bit because in the beginning when it started, I'm like, is that young man? Like, is that man? Me like, too. I yeah, I thought it was a flashback too. I thought, right. too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I thought that was Sabine. I thought I thought it was Sabine for a second from Rebels. You you know. Oh, when, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, 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 okay. I can see that. I can see that. Um, but then when it, when his ship came in and the music came on, I was like, oh, yeah. he just blew the whole blew a hole in that whole that like, just blew a hole in that thing, man. But like, I I just the whole the idea of. The, the journey of the of Mandalorian and the dynamic between him and Grogu and the, and how the the bond has grown and how Grogu like loves him as his own father, yeah. you know what I mean? even when they were when they were in the in the hyper the hyper the hyper tunnel or whatever he got scared and went down and got in between his arms like you pay attention to like specific cues yeah. between the two of them and I love that and I and another thing I like I love the most too um, is how how they ask like they they treat the droids like people. Yeah. Oh, I need him on my yeah. team. He's my friend. I'm like, the fuck? That's a toaster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but he goes, that's my friend. That's that's my partner. And right. I'm like, oh, that's so dope. Like, how they do that. And then another thing. I never thought that I would ever see this day. Movie production. Movie movie production. Movie budgets in a television show, bro. Yeah. Like, my dude. I feel like I'm watching a little, a real ass Star Wars film. The creature looked great. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, CGI. Yeah. Look cheap. Even no, the explosion, they're getting hit. That's why I was like, oh, they spent some money. Mm-hmm. Thanks, bro. Oh, Even okay. the, practical, the practical makeup and stuff. Like, I'm like, that ain't CG right there. That's that's yeah. that's dead ass practical right there, man. Mm-hmm. Well, that yeah, means even but... the set pieces, you got to think you dealing in a, you dealing in universes and in sectors, right? Yep. So yeah. everything got to look like something, and like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So showing the difference between these planets and everything, like even the small things, like the the uh, the little tiny mechanic creatures, like their little workshop yes. and everything. Yes. Like, it's like, bro. Y'all put some money into this whole production, like that's yeah, it is. It is. I was thinking, fine. grief kind of looks grief. Uh, you know that where where, they, where he's staying now, man. It kind of like it looks like it looks like a like a like a Venice, Italy or something. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. And I was looking yeah. at it. And I was sort of, I was thinking. I was wondering what like what I'm wondering what they based it off of and, and what the reason is. You know, because of course that was like a restoration of the town mm-hmm. since uh, since Mando left, and it's mm-hmm. like it's interesting that they that they went with that dynamic. I'm wondering if there's any parallels in history to like a new. Like a new age and how they built back up, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I think that's like the the. I mean, f- for better or for worse, whatever you want to call it, I think that's like the the Disney touch to it, you know. Oh Because that's yeah. what like that's what happens with the Disney money, like that's why they got into the parks. That's why they started like, you know, um, doing that stuff. I'm not like I don't I don't there, I don't know. I'm there, not. A, there's a there's a period to it, like oh man, it's a graphic design, but it's like yeah. there's a period there's a period in time in which they do use it's not called the victorian era but it's like another one that has mm-hmm. kind of like that same type of feel that they use and that's what they use during architecture and stuff like that it starts with a g or something like that um, I, I, got the phone. Hold on. I would think about i think about uh prague when i see that type of like really that's the architecture yeah like because the way Prague is like set up and then you know i mean shoot i mean a lot of that stuff is ancient, even um Israel, man. Like, oh yeah, like, like, mm-hmm. like the cool. way they set everything up, man. How they create everything, and then I always think about how do they create like uh intergalactic languages and stuff. Do they? Take, oh, yeah, do, yeah. do they mix no, that? Yeah, that's that's they crazy. Well, they, they, you got to get real linguists. You have to get real mm-hmm. linguists at yeah. that point. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. You can't just you can't pass that up because if you're if you're making a cohesive language, and certain words are going to be their conjunctions of mm-hmm. of different things. And there's, like you, ling- linguists really do understand like the basic mechanics of language, like certain yeah. things that have to happen, you know, yeah. like sub- you know, like, like all that, like with the order. So you have to create words that like set up an- another word, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they still gotta follow the basic rules like a i o u, like how yeah. the, like how your mouth yeah. forms those. Mm-hmm. And so it's just once you have that, you can flip other things. That's why. That's why like. Uh, what it is like pig Latin. That's like the perfect way right. of like describing yeah. how you can switch words, but still use the same thing and still mm-hmm. the same stuff. Which but when girls to do that in school, I could never catch on to pig Latin. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like I, 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 don't like, know, I don't know one bad word. Deuce, that's because they wasn't speaking the real language. Didn't nobody not speak no damn pig. No, but they used to that. Right. Right. That stuff, yeah. bro, I couldn't even, bro. I, I didn't know what the fuck. I was like, all right, about. I'm done with y'all. All right, no, you know, but you I know, know but you walk you, out the room so y'all can speak regularly. I don't. No, nah, but you know what we slept on about that though was we actually do know how to do that. So, so to us, we found that funny. But if you think about it, 
we do that all the time. Like, think of it like if you walk up to any black person, y'all sitting somewhere, you can go, mm hmm, yeah, 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 Word, all right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you ain't have to say, but you understood that whole conversation. That's mm -hmm. a language. I, I, yeah. And I think we need, I think, I think, you know, it sounds funny, but I think we should come up with a word for it. I think that needs to be like just, just how, just, just how all the slang words like that we create. They're in the dictionary now when everybody's using them. Give you a specific phrase, the word or the phrase side hustle. Who started saying the side hustle? I'm pretty sure we did. Mm -hmm. Now you hit on the news and then we take the word swag. You know, the, you know what swag even means? Like the actual the definition of a swagger to chain hanging from a ceiling. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, really, like it's just so many different things. But I think we should start capitalizing off of the things that we say and come up with. And create and start and, and make it into a specific language. I'm from Florida, right? And the old the old heads, mm -hmm, yeah. Hey there, mm -hmm. I bet. You know the thing and the thing for the thing, the thing yeah. on the thing or the thing. Yeah, the thing. Come on, yo, like it's just. Rich around over there, grab that thing from over there. Yeah, <laughs> rich, rich around, rich around, yeah, uh, rich around. Oh, man. I'm in a different yeah. room. Like, what are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what you see. Yeah, let me get the what's the name for the what you call it. Right. Yeah. I'm uh I'm from Philly, so we say John, and you know that's John. just a replacement yeah. now. Yep. Um, person, place, or thing. Mm -hmm. so we we use that like, too. I was at the John with my John. John, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I tried, I tried it out there in DC. I was like, you know what? It's not for yeah. me. <laughs> we do uh we do, we say jump, we say young and sice a lot. So I ain't even sice and young. Jumps was looking uh, crazy. Bamas was going, Bamas was wilding out. Yeah, was, yeah. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my, one of my favorite slang words is y'all when y'all say luncheon and mo. Yeah, luncheon. Luncheon. Well, yeah, that's my, yeah, yeah, I got a lot of partners of lunch. I literally yeah, just did a video yeah. of when your DC cousin or homie visits you in LA and having I'm having them have dialogue, just me playing both, but I'm I'm using I'm saying luncheon, bamas, yo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, hey, man. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and I mean, the, the, we yeah, we definitely got to find a title to claim because they always try to put some like, you know, because everybody wants to argue over it. They always put some scientific ass title on it. So now it's called African American Vernacular English. And I'm like, all right, oh. cool, but we don't like we didn't ask for that. Uh I, <laughs> we just call it something dope. Like it was just call, call it nigga. I, right? I personally, I personally I'll take that. don't that's like what I that's what I speak. I don't like how we're identified as African American. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why I have a problem with that. First of all, I'm originally from the Caribbean. I'm from St. Thomas, Virgin Islands originally, right? Grew up mm. in Miami, Florida. I grew up in Miami and Florida, right? I mean Miami and New York, right? There ain't nothing. The only thing African about me is the fact that the original black man comes from Africa, but nobody that are in America or from the Americas are are, are essentially African. Really thinking about it, just call us American or just call us black people to create something. You know what I'm saying? Or right. shit, I like the word melanin a lot better. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a melanin. Yeah, melanated people's. Yeah. yeah, I like melanin because you know if Caucasian can if Caucasian could be a word or Caucasian or whatever that whatever the, the, the proper uh, word is to use. I would I, melanin sounds a lot better because unless you're an actual person that's of African descent, your parents, mom, dad are African, and you live in America, you are considered African American. Right. And I, I always had a problem with that. Well, there's a reason they there, there's a reason they do that, and that's because of the Census Bureau. So, mm -hmm. um, technically, if you ever get a census thing in your home, do not fill it out and say you're African American. If you mm -hmm. go for a job, don't put it out because if you because here's the thing, there's a reason why they put that first. So. African American, your original origin is Africa. You right. are now moving from that to America. So if they decide to treat us like how they did Mexicans and start kicking people out that don't have that right identification, you go back to your original origin. That's why you're mm -hmm. called Mexican American. That's why you're called Caribbean American. You go back to your place of origin. They did that to us because that's not where we're from. Most of us are from here. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. distinct us to be there so we can't claim our territory. And mm. if they decide that they don't want you here, guess what? They send you back to Africa. And if they can't take you to Africa, because, of course, you don't have no citizenship, guess where you go? The detention center, mm. where you get put in jail. And now mm. you become free labor for them. Mm. That's why you should never claim that you're African-American. Disclaimer, everybody. You guys thought y'all came to talk mm. about Star Wars, but y'all got some education. <laughs> y'all yeah. getting it all today. 
Yeah. Hey man, y'all y'all getting some of this Republican knowledge, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's cool to say it on this episode because they know what I'm talking about. Right. But yeah, man, so I think that's that's a, that is a great segue for us to go ahead and jump into a little more fantasy. You know, get get we didn't gave them the real now. Let's go ahead and dip into the fiction. Let's do this. Right? I'm ready. All right, yeah. so now we are entering into the phantom fiction. And today's phantom fiction is Star Wars based. Now, for those that don't know how this goes, picture us, we're in a lab right now. It's it's, it's the five of us. We're in a big theater, but it's just us in the seats. Huge, huge screen. And right now we're talking to an AI that's creating all of our characters that's going to place us in the, in the Star Wars universe. So I just want y'all to have that imagination as y'all are forming these characters and for the audience as y'all start to hear these characters. So as I said, y'all are welcomed into Star Wars. So on today's episode, y'all are going to tell me who you are as far as name, what planet are you from? And, you know, what species are you? You know, that's something to throw out there. Uh, what is your occupation in the Star Wars universe? And then, of course, we're going to ask, like, where are you currently? So are you in the time of when the Phantom Menace was? Are you in the Return of the Jedi era? Or are you in the era where the black dude should have been a Jedi, but they didn't make him a Jedi? And so a lot of shit got confusing, like <laughs> Princess Leia breathing in space. You could be. <laughs> <laughs> you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, they, you know, that's a good, that's a, if you know, you know, right? That's a if you know, you know moment right there. Throwing right? that out there, or, or you may be, you may be in some fan, you may be in some uh, fan fiction uh, universe that you may be Clone Wars or up for grabs. It's up to you, but we're gonna find out today. So, um, in the order that we have right now, we're gonna go from JP, then uh, Brody, then Deuce, ATO, and then myself. So, JP, you're gonna go up first. Will you let us know? Who you are, name wise, planet that you're from, and what species are you? Um, my name is Darth Indius. Um, I'm from the Wishing Nigga Woods of Mandalore. Uh, and I'm a gray Jedi for Black Liberation during the time of the High Republic when there were actually Black people. Um, I spent a lot of my time uh, fighting uh, uh, mostly droids. Uh, because they don't ever really show up in person. You, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and yeah, the, the the fight has been long, but the Jedi Order has been prosperous. So this is a good time to be alive. I'm okay. a great Jedi, so that's why you know I wear the black because I like to wield a little bit of both. You can't, you can't, you can't pigeonhole me with morality. You know. Okay. All right. Then hit, then hit us with the name. Uh, what planet are you from? From Mandalore. Mandalore. Okay. I would have been, I would have been a Mandalorian, but. Um, Helmets, man. Come on, man. All this melanin. I need, I need sunlight, bro. Come on. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't see no dude with, with 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 locks wearing that Mando helmet too long. Come on, mm -hmm. man. Like y'all got to just face watch. option. Like y'all got to just this part right here. For mm -hmm. me I gotta go. On. I gotta go to the waters underneath the mines every time. Nah, come on. <laughs> uh, I'm taking. Was, to... You know what? If if you were smart, not saying that you're not. <laughs> you, get, you, you know the, the water cooler bottles that we put the little the water cooler thing is mm. go to the waters and go fill it up and then just have it on deck. So if you take your helmet off, just sprinkle some water on yourself. That's true. Or yeah, that's true. I go in a room where High Republic, we're a little we a little we, we 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 far along, but we're a little primitive. You gotta work with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brody, how about yourself? You are up next. Yes, my name is Brando Calrissian. All right. I am the son of, of Lando and Leia. So during the times mm. when uh, Han Solo was trapped in carbonite, mm. Leia, Leia, Leia got a little lonely at that time. All right. And uh, her and Lando <laughs> kind of did some things. So I don't exactly know. I mean, I, the only thing I know is that I was born on Tatooine, but I can't really claim a home planet. I just know I was conceived, you know, conceived and born on Tatooine, and of which then I was moved with family to Bespin. Of, of some Calrissian uh, cousins and such. <laughs> I don't, I, I kind of understand. I kind of, I kind of know what's going on, but it's kind of a Luke Skywalker and Baru Uncle Owen type of situation. I um, am force sensitive from my latest, from the, from the lineage <clears throat> I received from Leia. And I spend a lot of time on Canto Bight. So I really have no direction 
I, 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 I have a twin. I have a twin out there as well, <laughs> which kind of balances out the, <laughs> all, the, all, the, all the shenanigans I'm, I do. I have a twin <laughs> sister out there. <laughs> Oh, I, see sister. <laughs> I have a twin sister doing some good shit out there. She's doing really some really good shit. And I'm at Canto Bite. I'm I'm with I'm with I'm with I'm with hookers, you know. I'm just I'm at, I'm at Canto Bite with hookers. I'm spending, up, I'm spending I'm spending money. You know, guys, okay, this is good. you're gonna you're gonna see me at Canto Bite, just probably, you know, just with, with, some, with something like this, you know, just look it's gonna look like that. Okay. Um <laughs> yeah, out there throwing credits. I see you, bro. Yeah, you know, but but I'm but I'm a slickster. I'm, I, I I get it from Lando, but I get the but I use I'm, I use my force sensitive stuff from Leia. So I'm kind of like I'm you know I'm, I'm I'm changing the cards on the table. You never seen that in Star Wars. You never seen that. You never seen people cheating on the tables. I'm using the force. I'm I'm doing mind tricks on them and shit. Did you did you win yourself a fly whip too? What's that? Did you win yourself oh, I, a fly whip too? He got I kind of just hot wire whatever I get my hands on, you know. He, he got him a good on Nash. <laughs> oh, it was it was mad as hell when I had that Millennium Falcon for a little bit. <laughs> Picked up the homies, bro. I was I was hitting all the outer rim fucking clubs. Nigga. <laughs> that boy had that boy had his <laughs> swing page. Pocket, man, I had I had oh, I had I had I had bitches, man. <laughs> Was, was you, hey, was you, hey, was you posting them on the Aldergram? I was at the Aldergram. That boy was flexing on them, just. All the fans. All the fans. All the slaves. We, we were making content on. We were making content on all the fans. Oh no! Oh man. Oh my gosh. Okay, and, and, and just one more time, what's your occupation? My well, like I said, I don't really do much of anything, but I'm kind of a slickster. I just have I have I have like credits and you know, just I just okay. I just couldn't so you, you know I'm a galactic scoundrel, thing. scoundrel thing. I see you. like this, but I'm bitter because I know my father, but Lando is trying to keep has been keeping me a secret for so long because he knows what it will do to his relationship with fucking Han Solo. So I've been a secret. I feel mm. that I feel that and, and I knew. And I knew the whole time. I know I have a sister. I know who my who my father so is. You, but that would you well, say that? Would you say that you fat? Like, do you think that you could beat Han Solo's uh uh run in twelve faster than twelve parsecs? Let's just say that uh, I've done some other strange stuff on the outer rim and hot wired a few other. Let's say the Millennium Falcon ain't the fastest ship in the galaxy. Okay. Okay. Man, talking hot shit right now. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and move it on to Deuce. Deuce, can you let us know your name, planet you're from, and your occupation and species? Of course. So I am Deuce Windu, the grandson of yeah. Mace Windu from the mm -hmm. planet Horn Cow. Um, I am out here, man. I'm a spice supplier, not a dealer, a supplier, because I'm the connect, I'm the plug. Oh, I spice. <laughs> I'm a spice, spice supplier. <laughs> I'm running real heavy drug shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, where you gonna get that stuff? You gotta get you gotta get from Wendy, bro. Oh, oh, man. Man. You gotta, I'm the I'm oh, the supplier. <laughs> Griselda in space. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> out here moving them, out here moving them bricks, man. Bricks, <laughs> bricks, some of them things, bro. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> ATL, man, what about you, man? <clears throat> I waited all day for this. All right, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> My name is Hinde Monroe. Hinde Monroe. H-I-N-D-E Monroe, right? So the thing about this character is I don't know where I'm from, but I was discovered on Coruscant as a slave. Also, I am uh, somewhat force sensitive, but I do romance with the dark side every now and again. So that probably would make me into a hybrid at some point. Yeah, right? you're gray. Um, also, I've been have being I am being mentored and trained by one of the greatest Jedi's to ever walk the face of Coruscant because I don't know what else is out there in the form of Luke Skywalker. Um, a very old Luke Skywalker at that. Um, my job, <laughs> I'm a slave. So I, <laughs> I don't know, I don't I don't have a job. Yeah, my job is to try to get away from where I am at 
I know that there's more out there, but they're not showing me. And uh, eventually I will get there. Um, but yeah, that's my character. That's that's Hinde Monroe. I'm Yo, we're all gray. Man. Like, we're all gray. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Is it? I love it. Okay. All righty. All right. Well, I guess it's on me now. Uh, my name is Logan Truck. Uh, originally, I am from the moons of Andor because I am a fucking Ewok. I'm a whole Ewok. A my Jedi uncle, Ewok. You know what I'm saying? My uncle is Chuka Truck, you know, from out there. <laughs> uh, my story is, you know, I'm from the moons of Andor, but uh, it's funny you mentioned Coruscant. I was actually captured and then I was about to be brought as a slave on Tatooine, but unfortunately, there was an accident that uh, basically had our ship get caught up in a galactic fight. And so we land, crash landed on Coruscant. And so a lot of folks got taken over. I didn't. Um, I got put, I'm lying, I got put into slavery. Um, <laughs> didn't have too much to go. But because I was a slave, though, I started learning a lot of different native tongues. And so I started learning how to talk like everybody. So now I'm an Ewok that speaks English. Oh, so, mm. yeah. So I can actually talk to people. And so uh, eventually I end up escaping. And then my job occupation is a. Um, I'm a, uh, I'm basically a, a, a Sith builder, so basically I figured out how to create uh, Jedi crystals. Why? And so I've been smuggling these across the galaxy and stuff for Jedi and Sith alike. Mm. So I got two plugs in the lobby. All right, back. Cool. Right? <laughs> you know, I've seen you before at the casino. I think I've seen you at the casino before at Canto. <laughs> oh, did you see me with a chick with two long tails and stuff like that? On <laughs> Was it her? She was red. <laughs> if she was red and white, that was red. me. Okay, okay. This because this is me, bro. I want to make sure we ain't, you know, Eskimo brothers. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I, no, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it all the way funky with you, though. I have seen her before. I have okay. seen her. Before. <laughs> was she with someone? Was she, was she, she was with not, She was not with anyone. She was at the bar trying to order a drink. I will. I will say. Uh, you know, one of them dudes with the like little tentacles from the band, you know what I'm saying, with the little big head and the big eyes and shit with the little yeah. flute. He did try to come up and holler, but she handled herself very well. I will say, okay. Okay. handled herself yeah. very well, sir. I trust her, I trust her all over the galaxy. She can go where she wants, you know what I'm saying? I yeah, talking. man. Yeah, baby. I, I mean, even in the outer rim, though. Hey, listen, man, look, we got trust. Okay, I, 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 I need to go okay. check on you. I, I, I just had to ask, I don't. I mean, if you, you can't. Know, they you say what happens in the outer room. rim stays in the outer rim. I'm just saying. Hey, okay. listen here. Listen. Man, the outer rim is one of my my top clients, man. I've been flying out over there. <laughs> outer rim business. <laughs> Will came with that Pornhub ass name. That's crazy. Hey man, I didn't definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all know her. <laughs> what am I missing? Y'all seen her before? Do I, am I missing something? <laughs> <laughs> I think she got. A, I think she. Got, I think she got an only stars. Wow. <laughs> okay. So now that we now that we know what y'all are, what your occupation is, I want to know about placement, man. So with these excellent characters, where do y'all see yourself in the Star Wars franchise? So, like we say, could it be in the beginning in the Phantom Menace, where you know you could have went and smoked some, you know, galactic weed with Jar Jar Binks, or you know. Was it through Return of the Jedi when everybody thought the fucking Boba Fett was dead, but apparently, you know, a giant monster in the fucking sand can't kill a human with a jetpack? There you are. <laughs> and I won't talk no more shit about this new franchise. Just Star Killer should have been in it. That's all. I'm Bro, <laughs> let me hold on before. Let, let me. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a always be that guy. Star Killer needs. He doesn't need to be referenced as a damn base. He needs to be a person, mm -hmm. and I will create a damn uh, a petition to get the actor to come back to be Star Killer in these damn series and in the damn. Still movies. look the same oh, too. Son he ain't aged, so, bro. He's he's he aged. The game, first of all, the Force Unleashed is my favorite game, oh. second to none. That game Man. is so freaking amazing, and the I idea did. of that character was so lit, mm -hmm. bro. And I always thought about like if you would create like some sort of a Jedi. Hybrid like that with a damn blaster. Come on, son. We outside, bro. Like I kind of I, I ain't gonna lie, that's why I'm kind of reluctant to watch Andor because I still haven't got a chance to see Rogue One. Yeah. And it's really just because I was like, 
out of everything y'all can make that was outside of the Star Wars thing, Force Unleashed should have been the first in the, the first line for you to make a live just, action film. Bro, movie. just make a Disney Plus series of Force Unleashed and watch what it do. Dog, oh, I'm if yo, watch I'm for that. I'm for yeah. that. Same thing with Obi though. I'm like, yo, you could have gave us Force Unleashed before you gave us Obi. Bro, mm -hmm. that whole that whole him and what was the, the final battle between him and uh and Anakin? Man, come on, son. Stop bro, playing, bro. And at this point, uh, with the pace they going, we're we're gonna get Cal Kestis before we get Star Killer, and that don't make no sense. Man, do they brought uh? What's They're already shaping name? up for a crossover for him, and yeah. that don't make no sense. Yeah, yeah. What's the dude name? I can't. The mall. I can't. I'm sorry. Some of the. I'm. Darth I'm mall? No. Uh, Ebony Maul. So what's his name from from the from the uh from the the animated? He was uh, in a uh, Mandalorian. The dude that with the. The Ebony Maw, uh, Ebony Maw, uh, him. Yeah. Like, if y'all could make him into an actual live action character, bro. Right. I'm just saying, like, and he Star looked great Kevin, too. The actual person exists yes. as well. Mm -hmm. Like, come he on. looked great. Like, yes. the, the character design and everything looked amazing, bro. Like, oh yeah, now nah, most of the ones that they didn't brought from the animated uh versions, right. even uh the uh fucking Asuka. bounty hunters and stuff. Yeah, Asuka looked great. Oh, shout out to my girl, uh, Katie Sackoff, man. Sheesh. Yeah. Always good to see her. Yeah, man, she need help now. For and sure. Amber yeah. Mercedes, I can't wait to see her back in there. You know, yeah, Sasha Banks yeah. and those. Yeah. I can't yeah, wait yeah, to yeah, see yeah. her. Oh, uh, but yeah. So I want to know, JP, what time are you in the Star Wars universe? Mm. Uh, I'm during the time of the High Republic. Uh, so it's very new territory. But uh, as it has been, you know, explained to us so far. There's what, like six black people in the whole um, galaxy uh, through three franchises and a rebuild. So uh, during the time of the High Republic, I'm focusing on black planets. Uh, we already have two, uh, two protagonists uh, of focus in that series, but uh, I wanted to focus on something new. Uh, we only know of uh, Jolie Bindo, if you fire, follow like um, Knights of the Old Republic like that far back. As the only gray Jedi that I know of, uh, of color. So that's a fan fictional person that you throw in there as well. So uh, for me, I decided to be uh, uh, a resistance fighter during that time because the, the Jedi are at constant war, um, which is something we've seen before, but not thousands of Jedi sway and swinging them things at fight, you know, at battle. <laughs> yeah. No, bro. Have you seen any of those battles? It's crazy. Like, 200 on 200. <laughs> yeah, like it's like, yo, y'all be meeting in big ass places to do this shit, and this is not necessary. <laughs> like, hey, I, didn't, I didn't even know we had a clearing that big. Yo, be mad as hell you died because you had an epileptic seizure because you just watched all these <laughs> And then you get, get your head chopped off because you didn't fell out. You just, right. you're like, Damn. Also, also, if you off that spice and you watching it, it may be a euphoria type See of event. Bro. You out here yeah. like, yo, it's like a rave. You know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah, saying. I, 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 ain't go, I ain't gonna lie, Deuce. I had some of them spices when I was making them fucking <laughs> Jedi crystal. It's just, just one night I was like, man, you know, you know, the little that same chick at the casino, uh, Brody. You know, she yeah. loved a little, loved a little spice at the crib at the hut. And she one night the spice, I was like, man. get your nice. Go a little on time. Okay. I, you know, I don't do it. I don't do it, okay? I don't be doing it like that. But, you know, it was there. You know what I'm saying? I was still a furry. So I was like, man, you know, fuck it. And then all of a sudden, you know, I, I man, I saw my little whiteboard. I just started and hanging out with all these Jedis on fucking Calderon and stuff like that, figuring out everything that they doing. It was simple, man. I was on it. Uh, Brody, though, what about you? What, what, uh, Where are you in the Star Wars timeline? So I am, uh, you know, f about five years before the Battle of Star Killer Base, you know, right about five five years before that, about that time, um, you know, obviously it's still, you know, the, the first order is getting getting to get getting built up, and I'm in a position where I'm actually uh, now it's getting worse, you know. So my upbringing was, you know, hanging out with the Canto Bite a lot, but now I'm having like I have these relationships all over the galaxy, and I'm manipulating both sides. So now I'm kind of getting to the game where I'm selling arms to both sides, the Resistance and the and the uh, first order, you know, I'm just kind of, I know, I kind of know everything that's going on. I could be very instrumental in stopping all this, but you know, I just, I was kind of, uh, I'm kind of still, I have this grudge towards Lando still. And I know that he's heavy within the resistance. So it's almost my way of getting back at him 
by supplying the first order. So you busy getting galactic ass and just spreading out all this shit. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm, I'm literally like. I'm. I'm. I'm just like. I'm not really doing what I need. What I should be doing. My arc. You know. If, if the if the end of my arc is where you know everything everything comes to light and I'm. And I forgive for I finally forgive Lando and I and I can get trained and all that and I and I understand you know I, I meet I meet Ray and all the, all those types of things happen. Right now I'm not that guy you know I'm just not there, you know I've, it's just I'm, I'm I'm spending way too much of Canto bite. I'm seeing uh, Deuce Windu all the time. This guy he knows I'm one of you know the ladies the ladies love the spice. I gotta get the spice you know for them to have some fun. We go to we go uh, we we hit up on a uh, Django Django Fett's planet every now and then go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I just live my life, man. I mean, like I'm, he really did. I'm telling you, dog. He an autograph thought. That's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is the influencer of Star Wars. And I be hanging with, I be hanging with Black Christensen. That's my that's my nigga for real for real. <laughs> Oh, yo, Chrysanthemum, the homie, yo. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum is the homie, bro. So, like, you, 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 if you, if you see Chrysanthemum, you know I'm not too far away. So that's how, like, people don't really mess with, like, you know, people want to step to me, but it's like, Chrysanthemum's the homie. Like, you really, you really got to have your arm ripped out of its socket from, like, today? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Chris, hey, Chris, get, get, the, get these niggas out of my face, Chris. <laughs> yo, just just let us know, bro. Who you sponsored by? <laughs> Wait, who you who you got a touchdown? What's the what network event you be going to? I'm sponsored by Blue Milk. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. That's how I, keep my, I keep my image clean. They're like they're like that's no. that's the guy. That blue Milk. You know what I'm saying? I'm yo, like, yeah, up. Blue Milk makes you strong oh, like a Jedi. Let me say this. Wait, 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 wait. Ain't, ain't you the nigga from the old Jedi arm insurance commercials? <laughs> you see me there too. Anybody came up in this? In this if you've been burnt by a lightsaber, you may be. In. <laughs> you gotta know, bro. Like the references, the reference game is out of control right now. Oh my God. You know, that's hard. You may be a lot of a large sum of money if you or a loved one has been harmed by a lightsaber or a kyber crystal. <laughs> No, oh, it, no, it's credits, right? Is it money credits? Credits? Credits. Credits, credits yeah. yeah. Deuce, awesome. what about you, man? <laughs> All right, so, you know, being that I'm potentially like the black sheep of the family because I didn't follow in the Windu path. I'm out here slanging pipe, spice. But <laughs> Did I you am... say pipe and spice? <laughs> <laughs> He's a crazy guy, I'll tell you. He's a crazy guy, man. I, I, we've left some crazy parties, right, dude? Right. Hey, we had some crazy. Some crazy we had some crazy times. We uh, I'm right now. I'm currently after the events of Rise of Skywalker because just like any good drug dealer, I got new product on these streets. We are smoking. We are smoking on that Sith pack right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, the world state. They, we don't know, but right now, from what I know is the Sith is, is gone. So I got that Sith pack out here, you know what I'm saying? Because of the rise of Skywalker. Everybody wanted it. It's the new hot Sith thing. Pack. We out, everybody partying because they think that the, you know, the, the Sith is done. I don't care if they done or not. I just know that right now, this is the name that I got and this is the name that's pushing. So right do after you, the rise do you still of slang, Do you still slang Skywalker OG? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Still got that. that that's, that's a classic. That's one of those ones that, you know what I'm saying, everybody go to. Now, dudes, okay. I hear you with all that, but now when you hit us with that Rebel OG, mm. ooh, Oh. <laughs> I don't, bro, you I don't know, know where you got that from. That <laughs> rebel OG man. And you, you do you have a do you have any Jabba leaves? I mean, I got some Jabba leaves. I got some. I got some Mando Kush that's coming out. Like you know, what I'm saying I've been working on that, trying to get that together and everything like that. But yeah, man, I got a lot of stuff going, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, you know, I'm I'm working with R2D2 and them. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get some vapes going. So you like I said, trying to just trying to trying to get y'all out here, trying mm. to get y'all some intergalactic vapes and everything. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm a, I'm gonna need me one of them Kashyyyk Kush cartridges, bro. Oh yeah. Gotcha. 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 Okay. Gotcha. Make sure. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got cash at house in this basement. <laughs> hey, hold on. Hey, man, hey look. Hey, look. Deuce, you, you, Deuce, you need to come to me because you know I didn't move past just the Jedi uh, saber crystals, man. So you know I went and hit up uh, what it was fuck fucking uh, that Hoth planet. Put a little man. bit of ice on there. Was able well, to crystallize that shit, bro. Keep your whole vape 
Cool, my dude. Cool. I say, no. I, 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 I like to, I like to innovate. You know what I'm saying? I'm not against collaborating and innovating. You know what I'm saying? This spice world. So that definitely, man. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach out. I'm gonna link up. I've been vacationing in Halton so long. <laughs> hey, speaking of, it's, it's like we have a cabin in here. We have a cabin. Yeah, yeah, say it again, JP. Yeah, then you got put in the blender, bro. Are we back? Yeah. Oh, everything. Yeah, everything froze down for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You back? You back? Oh, I, I, okay. I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you was asking the question. I, no, yeah, I did too. <laughs> no, everybody, everybody froze up. But I was saying, speaking of hot. Oh, y'all ever seen that? Uh, what was the one? The Family Guy joke. He goes, "Why is it called hot when it's cold? It should be called cold." <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Family, dog. Yeah. Family. Family Guy has put out some of the best non-Star Wars, but Star Wars content. Like oh they are God, not yeah. canon to Star Wars, but the stuff that they put out has been so solid, bro. Uh, Family Guy top tier. Yeah. yeah. Like Blue Harvest, season. something, something, something. Dark Side. Blue yeah, Harvest. Yeah, season yeah, two for me, bro. Season one and two, man, are like my favorite. One and two of Family Guy, are my favorite. Those seasons, because it was just raw. Just Everything raw, was raw. Right. It was raw, bro. Yeah, I see why I got canceled and came back. Mm. Oh yeah, they was on South Park level, and they was like, "Yo, mm. we can't, we can't put this on main cable." <laughs> like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> Uh, I mean, Family Guy would straight up show a picture of someone's face for the punchline of a joke, like a straight up, like a real actual mm -hmm. picture. Of yeah. Conway, yeah, he, like, hey, they, like Family Guy, hey, Family no, Guy, we gotta bro, do something. Family Guy made me buy Conway Twitty on Spotify. Bro, was, no, he got yeah. bars, bro. Like he, like listen to he the stuff he's saying. Bars, bro. Bars. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Conway Twitty. Conway Twitty. Conway Twitty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yo, so for me, man, um, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit at the return of the Jedi. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was around that time. And so, like, I saw when, you know, they started out from that time around to we getting a little bit of, you know, like, uh, the Force Awakens. Like, I mm -hmm. saw when, like, all of these Jedis was getting clipped and stuff. Mm -hmm. Bruh. Like, like it was, I ain't gonna lie, though. Man, I felt like Rick Ross in the 80s at that time. Man. I was slanging, <laughs> slanging these crystals, bro. Because everybody needed something. Because, like, that time, bro, Jedi's was doubling up. Like, you know, they couldn't just have one. They needed two on deck. You know what I'm saying? Because you got Sips, like, just hitting them with this. You got grades that you don't know if they on your side or if they not on your side. People were trained. Yeah, bro, it, it was crazy. Me, I was out there chilling on Alderaan. Like, I was just in there getting messed up, bro, just slinging these crystals out. I had to innovate, start making different forms of crystals. You know, then I jumped back into my, you know, regular import export like I was doing on, you know, on Calderon and stuff like that when I was a youngin. And then, you know, yeah, I was doing some some shit as a kid. You know, when I was a, a young walk. You know what I'm saying? Young I was walk. out here, <laughs> young walk and shit. Young you know? walk. I, you know, I even jumped in the music a little bit. I had, beef, say, uh, you know what I'm saying. I had had beef with that nigga Chewy. You know what I'm saying. We had, had us heard, a little I, solid I, beef for a while. I, I heard your uh, single, uh, the one speeder bike. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, she yeah, hard, bro. Dark, that's just dark nice. side, dark side of the Andor moon, man. That's that one that got me my first <laughs> hey. one. You know it was a, you know I was real heavy in the music world. You know we, me and Chewy squashed it. Now you know we had beef and stuff. Oh y'all like cool though. Yeah, you know like you know man, you know two two furry ass niggas couldn't be you know all AB in the spotlight and shit. But you know because he tall and people wanted to see that they thought it was oh that was the spectacle people wanted to see. So you know George Lucas was like you got to stay in the cute and cuddly lane. I'm like what the fuck look make me look cute and cuddly and I'm slanging <laughs> Jedi crystals. You know what I'm saying like. You know, the eight the eight year olds ain't finna come purchase my toy and uh and fucking toys over us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not saying they made it like that, but that's what mm. made the little beef between me and Chewy. And then you know, I heard him say some disrespectful shit when he dropped his little mixtape with Han Solo and stuff like that. You know mm. what I'm saying? That little rah, 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 you know, I was like, Oh, okay, that's what we doing. <laughs> that's what the fuck, you know what? We passed that though. Okay, that was in the so, past. so I heard I heard y'all was going. I heard y'all was gonna squash it and make a track together and then stand next to each other in the jaw like the cover of Danny DeVito and Schwarzenegger and twins. You know, man, we you know, we you know, they tried talking to me about that. I even had you know the homie Mace Windu hit me up at the time, and you know what's crazy. 
that was the same night that he told me he was going up there to see the senator because he had to talk to him and stuff. So that's not that's uh, wild, no. but you know, yeah. I felt like I may have been the last person to speak to Mace Windu and everything. But I yeah, I told him, you know, he talked to me and he was like, yo, you know, we gotta we gotta stick together, you know, even though even though he was melanated. I'm melanated because of my fur and stuff. So it's like I'm I'm melanated too, and so was Chewy. And then when he put it in that perspective, I was like, you know what? Yeah, we gotta come together because there ain't too many of us, you know, right now. Like even the furry niggas on Hawk got a toy. Come, yeah. on, come on, man. Y'all got to see it. Y'all got to see it. But they <laughs> but y'all y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all want to talk about that. Hey, did you do that one banger? Um, um, I'm getting I'm getting tatted on Tatooine. It's like tat tat Tatooine. Tat, tat. That, look, look, I, I was in I was in the studio when that happened, man. I was in the studio with my nigga Flago. My nigga Flago was out there on that Tatooine when like, we was going up in there checking out them pie races and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, told him let's slide over to the studio and everything. We, you know, we sitting there chilling and whatnot. And then like, yo, it, it was cool till. Like some some Mandalorian ass nigga started coming down and shit like that and had some little in incident outside the studio. I don't really I didn't really hear too much of what happened though. I just know some weird ass nigga was walking around with a like floating egg and shit and mm. some little big headed ass little thing and shit. Like, I don't know what it was though. It was, I ain't gonna lie to it. Was, it was kind of cute. It was kind of cute. And I ain't even gonna front. So he's just in public with some random kid. He's just out in public with a just, kid. Nobody said nothing. It ain't it ain't for me to judge. All I know is I saw the six bodies laying down, and I felt like I shouldn't be the one to advise this man on his parenting choices. Me myself, you know I, I would I wouldn't have let my little Ewok see me clap somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, I didn't had to do what I've had to do before, but you know I'm not finna let my little eat bro, let my little Wok see it. You know. <laughs> My little walk, you know what I'm saying? Did, yeah, you, did you do? Uh, did you did you do that one? Uh, Ewok Keisha? Did you do that one? Bro, you killing man, me. Ewok? Man, <laughs> man. Ewok Keisha, bro. Uh, Shout out, man. Shout out to Ewok Keisha, man. She actually mixed though. She actually mixed with a little bit of Chewbacca, man. Yeah, oh, she's you know, Wookie too. Yeah, she little part. She little part Wookie too. That's why she's so thick. I heard man. stories about her, man. Yeah, Ewok Keisha, yeah. man. Nigga, I, I ain't gonna lie though. Uh, not to just throw this out like that, but. That nigga Hans hit it too. Mm. <laughs> just saying, man. We 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 even go do a track, you know, called Same Wookie. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and then we was gonna that that was the track me and Chewbacca was gonna jump on. He was gonna do the remix with us. Damn, was gonna be. I thought yeah. you were a Han Solo artist. Nah, nah, oh, nah, man. nah, bro. You know I'm on that Lando music. Come on, man. <laughs> Lando music. Come on, <laughs> you know, right? With a A with a Coke 45, a supply of Coke 45. Right? Yeah, <laughs> <man. You know? laughs> Hey, you know what? I'm I'm now I'm catching ideas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you you were OG in the music, like you know what I'm saying. I'm planning this 420 Spice Fest. I said I might need to bring you out on stage for it, bro. <laughs> Man, I, I ain't done a lot in a while, man. But if, if the if the confidence man, my guy over there coming, man, I, I heard that he was gonna be jumping down. Is that true, yeah. Brody? I heard you was drop dropping in on that spice uh festival. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be at the concert. You'll see me there. You know, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be with at least three or four Twilex. You already know how I do. <laughs> Big twi. Yeah, the Twilex in the moment. It's, gonna be eight, it's just me and eight tentacles, you know what I'm saying? We just might have a Hey, look. So a my thing too, like y'all yeah. doing y'all doing all this fly stuff, man. Somebody just come rescue me off of this crazy ass planet because you know I'm a slave. I ain't got no money, bro. Hey, man, look, I'm, I got I'm, the credit. I'm, I'm on my way. I got, I got hands too. <laughs> I, got, I got I got I got stacks. I'm coming to get you. Bow. That's what I'm we talking gonna, about. Get me up out of here, bro. We gonna free you up. We going to the festival. Yeah, bro. Man, mm -hmm. what you what's your but what's your first thing you want after you'd have been freed? Like, man, you'd have been. Man, I'm gonna get my lick back. I need, first go. of all, I'm not, hell no. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get link up with y'all. I'm going to learn the way. I'm going to learn I'm gonna learn the ropes. Then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to recruit my own squad. I'm going to get, I got to get my little, I got to get the traditional cape and the robe. And I got to have the theme music, the, 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 the somber theme music in the background. Come mm -hmm. back to the chorus and, and get my lick back. Mm. You know what I'm Are we going to give this a roll up with you? Because, you know, I'm down. I, I, I'm with it. I, it's whatever. I'm down. I mean, if, if, if this, if this, if y'all with it, y'all down around yeah. with me. 
I, you know I'm the driver. You know I got all the whips. I got the fastest whips you need, whatever you need. That's what it is. I need to go ahead and get I need to cut them I need to go to the plug and give me some spice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna swing my pipes. There you go. Because <laughs> you, you fresh out, you gotta give it a look. Fresh you out, fresh out. And, 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 and I'm gonna do a, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna do a fresh out, out. and I'm gonna do a fresh out freestyle. Oh, yeah, you, you got to. I'm gonna call that shit. I'm free. Yeah, we and you free. and you said you forced it, Jason, bro. Like, listen, you gotta come check out my crystals, man. Listen, my nigga, I got I got the the off white right, sabers, I the off white saber, bro. No, I want the off white. Oh, no. I was going to tell you, JP, to slide up on mm. the two, bro. I, I got the that DJ man. I got... Khaled. I, w- I want mm. to be the best pink joints. The Khaled, the fives. Get that. Mm. I can do, I can do five. I'll, I'll do take that. the off white. You can slide it up. In. I, I just need a new I need a new one. We good. I can do... man, I nah, nah, bro. Nah, bro. You know you need a new handle and everything, dog. Nah, I see, oh, you go, oh, you going to forge I, from the get, bro. Because I, I, I ain't going to lie, dog. Bruh. I seen yours at that black, at that Christmas party they had on Tatooine. Mm. I seen your joint. And I was like, Nah, man, we gotta get up. He needs some. Are you still making those Kyber crystal chains? Because I need a new piece. I'm kind of tired of this one. I'm rocking. It's getting played. Man, listen, I, man, I was making them and then I stopped, bro, because fucking politicians on Alderaan, you know, niggas started breaking the shit down and just like I, I ain't trying to put their business out, but like you're not supposed to break that down, chop it up, and then snort the shit. It ain't spice. But for some reason, like yo, like it like crazy enough, it started giving them Jedi powers. Not good ones either. Like it was like the force was within them to take make them take a shit. Like that's all it was. It was just mm. in their guts. So as they used it, it was for them to use the bathroom. And so it just it started making them pissed off and everything, but they kept wanting more of it. So man, I had to get rid of them hoes, dog. I had to sell them shits to them to, to like man, them little dudes in the hoodies with the black eyes and the yellow shits. <laughs> scary as fuck. No, yeah, yo, yo, Jawas will fuck them up. They love them. Them niggas is scary as fuck, bro. I don't I don't fuck with them. There's a lot of like, I ain't scared of a lot of shit, but when they over there, I don't go over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay, so now we're gonna get into our last question. Um, so of course, there's a whole bunch of different factions in Star Wars. Of course, as we've said, like the Jedi's to the Sith Order, the Sith Order, the Republic, Stormtroopers, everything. But I want to know if you had to get recruited into a group where you mm-hmm. are now, mm-hmm. which group would you join and why? And now remember too, keep in mind where you're at in the timeline and what you're doing. And how that those people would recruit you, uh, JP. We're gonna start with you first. Which group are you going to join? Uh, I would join the Jedi of the High Republic because uh, my ultimate goal is to time travel. I mean, I'm trying to spread black, black. Excuse me. I'm trying to spread blackness across the whole galaxy. So that's how I plan to to link up with y'all at the same time. So I mean, say say what you want, like. Uh, I'm down for uh, making it out alive. Mm. So I'm a rock with the Jedi. I'm still a gray no matter what. Uh, We're going we gonna to end this battle real quick. And when we discover time travel, I'm going to pull up on y'all for that festival. Okay. Mm. Okay. I'm feeling that. Brody? Yeah, man. The, the Sith, it's going to be it's gonna be really easy for them because I ain't really met no Jedi. And then I, I kind of, I mean, I, I've, all I've heard is rumors that like Jedi don't be getting bitches. And I'm like, you know, like I, I, I can't give it up, you know, so I, I just can't give up the life. And the Sith are like, you don't have to leave the life to join. You know what I mean? It's just like come as you are type things. So I'm like, oh, all right, bet. Like I don't really, I'm not, I, don't, I don't recognize that they're really doing some bad shit because I'm not about that. So I'm kind of, you know, I still have a conscience, I still have a heart. But I'm just like I'm just like the I'm probably like the worst Sith, you know. Like I'm like uh, worse than Kylo Ren, you know. Like I, I, it's just like I'm not I'm not mad at all. I'm not mad. I'm like, why y'all mad? Why what, what you got me mad at? <laughs> Look, you know, I'm I, I'm just upset I can't get a new Kyber crystal piece on my chain. But like other than that, like we cool. <laughs> okay, for you, all, right, all right, all right, for you, for you, for you, I will go back to the planet, get one, and craft it. Just, just. For you, my guy, because I got this something small that says, you know, Big Brando Calrissian. Big Brando Calrissian. I got you. I got you. you. Anything from anything. BC, maybe (laughs) for BC, real quick. That's that's cool with that, too. BC. Anything for Calrissian. Brando Brando Skywalker. I got you. I got you, bro. You know what? Now, 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 you know, since he was talking, you know, it makes sense because. Now I understand why Anakin went to the dark side because them niggas wouldn't get no bitches. 
Hey. Exactly. No, they, yeah, you during that time, absolutely not. They mm-hmm. at, during that time, they was like priests. They ain't mm-hmm. getting, they ain't getting and, and, so, and his, so you think his chick was older. So y'all really think Sith were out here getting galactic ass? Like absolutely. Really look at look at Star Killer. Star Killer, he his whole tune changed up when he got in the he was yeah, yeah. He was yeah, getting you mad. Feel me? I'm gonna go beat up Dark, I'm gonna go beat Darth Vader up. Yeah, he wasn't too. Yeah, he wasn't too worried about it after that. He was yeah. like, "Man, you know what? I ain't really that mad at that nigga. I ain't really that angry. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really that yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why Grace straddled the line, man. Because we can, we can. I mean, we can be righteous and all that, but like, no bitches. Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hey. Yo, hey. you're telling me we call her bitches? Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this for the force, but I still got bitches. <laughs> bitches, no bitches. Like, what? like I really did it just to get a red, a red lightsaber to match, match my. My uh, Air Galaxy Jordans, you know what I'm saying? There you go. Like, <laughs> there you go. Got to coordinate. I, I see you. I was liking the. I was like the mushroom. Gear. I got the mushroom belt to go with the mushroom jacket. Oh, I need that. I need that. <laughs> I got this. I got this. I got some nigga named Poe Dameron. You feel me? Like I got. I just got to clean up off him. Hey man. Hey, if you see Poe again, yeah. you tell Poe he owe me three fucking credits. <laughs> Poe oh, everybody money, bro. Man, Poe sus out here, bro. I don't know, man. Fuck yeah. ass, man. You know, Poe ain't even his real name. It's because he's Poe. You know that, right? Yeah. 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 His real name's to, Daniel. He tried, he, he tried to get me to front him some spice. You know what I'm saying? I front him a little, and he was supposed to he was supposed to hit me back on the back end. That nigga ran off on me, dog. His name is Daniel. His name is Damn Daniel Dameron. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Wait, wait. Nah, yeah. The spi- yo, the spice he ran off on, he gave to me because this dude owed me for giving him a fucking ship for him to run that he needed. So he said for some fucking hit he was doing. Wow. Robin Peter to pay Paul. See? Man, fuck man. Paul, dog. Fuck Paul. Fuck him. Paul. I can't I can't mess with him because like the people he roll with, they they too extra. They just out in the middle of nowhere when it's dark. Tell them some. You were a spice runner? Like, come on, bro. We out. Like, we out. Loud and shit. Man. Just loud and shit. What? Like these like these sand creatures it. can't hear us and shit. You just right, like, right. Right. you know what, y'all? I'm going home. Yo. <laughs> that's like when you. That's like that's like you partying with a with a, with a coworker and y'all go to work. Are you still high from yesterday? Right. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Then that's what? what that's what we all gotta go. You mean are we still hot from last night? <laughs> right. <laughs> I was oh, off. Word? That's what we're doing. Uh, but Deuce, what about you? What group are you joining? So I'm actually rolling with the Lothal Rebel, uh, the Lothal Rebels. Like they was we we had met in prison. I was doing a bid. Mm. I got you know saying caught up with some spice. Um, mm. and they was telling me about the OG <laughs> rebellion that they did, right? And so what I'm actually what what got me into the spice game, bro. Is man, I'm trying to get Mason Saber, you know what I'm saying? And Sano, uh, um, Senator Sano Sorrow, he got it right now, right? And so, when I was in prison, you know, what I'm saying the underbellies, they was letting me know about these scavengers who had found it and sold it to them. And then, you know, them hating ass Jedi's, bro, I was trying to get them to help me to retrieve it because I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying, Gramps, he was part of y'all. y'all, y'all should help me get this. And they wasn't down, so I ended up selling some spice. So I'm rolling with them because they helping me get my money up. They actually part of my, you know what I'm saying, my crew who's out here running this spice. So that way I can go, you know what I'm saying, get Mace's uh, saber back. Nice. Nice doing it for family. Doing it for family. Yeah, you know. Uh, ATL, what about you? Where, where, what group you joining? Check it out. So I'm a little different, right? I'm going to join the Stormtroopers, all right? I'm going to tell you why. I'm a join the stormtroopers. I have this chip on my shoulder to infiltrate the whole order to corrupt all of the asses. Teach them to find out who's force sensitive because you know all of them clones, right? We figure out who's force sensitive or not, and then just take over the whole organization, bro, and make that whole army mine and go back to Coruscant again and get my lick back again. Yeah, Damn. that's what I would do. I'm just saying, I'm all about that influential, you know, that stuff, man. I mean, <laughs> and I know I could, I he can't with me. I, come on, son, I'm great. Like, you can't, you got guns in an in a, in a armored suit. That's probably what I ain't going to lie, though. I didn't like that I didn't see no heavy set stormtroopers. Bro, <laughs> I didn't appreciate that. I didn't, you know I didn't appreciate crazy? that. I ain't see no tall ones. Like, bro, they're, 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 like they're, they're TIE fighter, they're TIE fighter pilots. <laughs> I see some. I see some big Tie Fighter pilots. 
the mechanics. Like, like stormtroopers, you got to run around, man. They they need they, they need a serious. Do not count. <laughs> and, you know why, and you know why. Look, look, look. Stormtroopers are, are complaining. They're like, damn, I ain't seen no. I, how come I can't be a death trooper? You know, death troopers wait, all wait, tall wait. and slender. That, wait, that's Cap. What, what's chick name that was in Star Wars with the silver? What's her name? I forgot her name. And uh, oh, uh, the one oh, that was big oh, ass. Captain Phasma. Yeah, yeah, she was big. She oh. was big as a bitch. She was big. Yeah, old girl from Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah, she was big. She was. Big. She was tall. Where is the me version that. of the stormtrooper? <laughs> Where the boat part comes out of the plate a little bit. <laughs> you know what you are. You know. Let's keep it real. You you you're the pilot in every anime. You're the pilot. Yeah, G Force got you, man. Uh, freaking like the pilot, the big, the big. The big, the big dude. You're the pilot, bro. Like you fly the plane, and, and, you, know and you and you're probably a genius. Yeah, your you know job is hilarious? to survive and give commentary. You're the only one that ever lived. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. That's, gotta, that was what, that was what I was gonna choose. Was to be a pilot. I wanted to be a pilot. Hootie. His name is Hootmander. Hootie to his friends. Yeah, that's the G Force intro, bro. You the, you the, the yeah, big man. I was definitely gonna be a pilot. pilot. Yeah, you're a pilot. pilot. <laughs> and if not. I was gonna be one. I was gonna join the Tuscan Raiders, just like so the hood rat shit. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, or, hey, or or if if he was the hero, if you're like the 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 hero of the story, you're the guy in the chair. <laughs> I don't like that one. I, I don't I like, like it either. I, I don't even I like, like the pilot. The, I like the pilot. No, the pilot <laughs> one can save the day. The other one, that's a half save. You, I don't yeah. like when you say when you stop crying at home. I don't like bro. That. I don't <laughs> like the fact that they have to limit people, like like with specific jobs. Like, I don't that, like, this like no, yeah, it's crazy. It's like what, tight once you like, once you do this, I don't want I don't want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this. Hey, <laughs> hey, give wait. Me two seconds. Hey, Phil, hold on. <laughs> Hey, do it again and then look at the camera like the intro to a TV, like to one of the TV shows. The pilot. The pilot. Yo, you got the pilot. Yo, you got the pilot. You got the hero, the second in command who's always trying to fight to become the hero. The damsel that's in distress that's probably like has way more credentials than everybody in the whole group. And the little yep. guy, the little kid, like the nephew or the little brother to like the, the third string person on the group. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna say this though. At least I, I got a chick. I ain't finna be that one that ain't got nobody. I got I got Man. a wife at home. I, I'm, I'm rolling with that. If I gotta be that, you kid, married? that to me. You're married for real? Yeah, yeah. Man, man. I can't settle down, man. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just I've had too much I mean, strain. I I went back to Andor, bro, man. Met me a nice, nice, wholesome uh, Ewok, man. And Dang. she sit and she sits on my furry face every night. <laughs> <laughs> every night. And then we just look up at the stars. I'm looking for love myself. I'm looking for. I don't know, man. This this game too crazy, man. I can't have no weaknesses, man. Somebody's gonna try to, you know, what I'm saying, use her against me and anything. You know, what I'm saying, like, man, you want you want to settle hey, down? She might, she might, hey, bro, she might set your ass up. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got, I'm out here solo advice. right now. Can't be out here getting too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yo, I wonder who would be the Ice Spice of Star Wars. Oh, oh it's her. <laughs> she's already here. It's her. Man. She works at the cantina. Wow. Bro. So she works at Jabba's Palace. I mean, she she's, she she hey. works at Jabba's Palace. Yeah. You thought I was feeling you? Jabba wants lunch. <laughs> Jabba, yeah. That Jabba wants lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Can I kill you? No. That job over lunch. Oh my god. <laughs> hey yo. I'm up, I'm up at the hunt and he eat it for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga laughing too. Oh, oh yeah, now see he get major ass. He be out here getting ass. Now that dude be fucking. Solicious Solicious Crumb, I think his name is. Yep, he be out here. That man getting top ass. Cause he be mm. everywhere. He be using them tentacles oh. everywhere, man. Everywhere. Oh my god, 
But ladies and gentlemen, this has been another great episode of <clears throat> Straight Out of a Comic Book. That was our Phantom Fiction Star Wars edition, man. And I want to thank my guests because all of y'all had great characters, great backgrounds, great stories. And that's what this is for, man. Being able for folks that don't really, they, that only get to see the surface stuff that y'all do, really see how much creativity that y'all have but i'm also in seeing this breakdown showing people like how much dedication it takes to not only make up a character like how y'all did but how y'all in, uh, apply that into y'all everyday stuff and so i hope people see that by what yeah. they saw today so i just want to thank my guests for coming through and before we get out of here i always want to make sure that uh folks can find out where to support y'all where to keep y'all dreams going so we're going to start with jp we're going to move to brody Deuce, and then we're going to go to ATL Worldwide, and I'm going to cut this thing out at the end. JP, you are up. Appreciate you, man. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, Y'all can find me on all platforms as The Geek Insider. Uh, not to be confused with Geek Insider, which is uh, a news platform that I do not work with or am affiliated with. Uh, that happens a lot. Uh, but primarily Instagram and TikTok, and I'll be starting on YouTube uh, coming this, this following month. Uh, thank you again for the opportunity, man. I really appreciate you. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, Brandon Brody. You guys can find me at Brody the Joker on all platforms. Uh, please tap in with me. Um, I, I, I talk back. You know, I am a comedian too, so uh, please keep you know look at my my pages for schedules. If I'm coming to a city near you, I will be headlining and, and doing a live taping for my comedy special, Light Skin Dark Secrets on June 18th in hey. Arlington, Virginia, at the Arlington Draft House. So I would love everyone to pull up and uh, get another side of this. Yes, sir. All right, man. I'm Young Deuces, man. I'm part of the Geek Set Podcast, the only podcast that blend hip-hop culture and geek culture together. A couple of things that I need y'all support on. One, y'all can follow me, Young underscore Deuces. Um, obviously, like I said, go to Sway's Universe's uh, YouTube page. Will's going to put the link down there. But uh, we are doing content. We just... We are wrapping up all uh, The Last of Us, reviewing each episode, giving Easter eggs, reviews, and everything like that. We're moving on to Mandalorian as well. So we're pretty much the blurs on Sway's universe. Like we are bringing blurred content there. And then just go to our YouTube, man, youtube.com backslash Geek Set Podcast. We put out a bi weekly podcast. We got interviews with celebrities, had some big names like Jay Ellis or Shay Jackson Jr. Will himself was there. You know what I'm saying? Just Phil Lamar, Deborah Wilson. We just chop it up with people and geek out. So, you know, follow us there, support us there. And yeah, man, you like I said, tap in, comment, like just like Brody, man. I, I reply to everything, man. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I, I touch this culture. So, yeah, for sure. Yep. <clears throat> All right, um, what's poppin', yo? My name is uh, oh shit, I'm ATO Worldwide. You can follow me. Um, <laughs> I'm so nervous, it's a lot of you guys in here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you saw that there, right? nah? So, you He's can follow me, character. <laughs> yeah, you can find me everywhere, man. ATO Worldwide. Um, I'm actually getting my show schedule uh, up and back up. I'm back outside, back performing. I'm actually gonna be performing, um, this month at um. Uh, What's the quote? It's a. Uh, I'm sorry, I said the ad. I'm tripping. Um, I can't think right now. I'll be at. I'll be performing all throughout California all summer, this spring and summer. I have a couple shows booked in Miami, uh, one in Orlando. Um, doing a lot of voiceovers. Uh, look, look for my voice in a couple of projects coming out. I can't kind of. I can't speak on what they are at the moment, but, um, yeah, and um, just holler at me. I holler back, hit me, talk to me, I talk back, all that good stuff. And I did follow each and every one of you in here. Um, yeah. Would sure. love to connect with a lot of you guys, man. I'm sorry for blathering. I kind of got caught off guard. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, it, it, but, but, Will, but, but seriously, though, Will, like, bro, like, this is really dope. Um, I really appreciate the fact that you have all of us in here together to talk about something that we all have, you know, some of the things that we have in common. And nobody slipped up other than myself just right now, but nobody slipped up or missed their cues. I mean, Brody, you're hilarious, my brother. Like, I mean, I, I just came across your stuff and dude, like geek inside of JP, bro, like, man, fuck, man. I, I don't know what to say, man. It's just dope to see people that look just like me, talk like yeah, me and, and have the same interests as me. And Will, bro, you are a king, my brother, like for bringing us together and, and putting something like this out in the atmosphere and for other people to see, you know. Um, but yeah, oh, anime impulse. I'll be performing at anime impulse <clears throat> this is. month. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I apologize. I'll be there at Anime Impulse. Um, and I'll be doing. A, I'll be doing a lot more conventions this year. Um, I know I'm. I'm set for Comic Con, San Diego, San Diego Comic Con. Also, uh, I'll Correct. get all the details up, and I'll put. Thank you, and I'll put up my uh, my schedules and up sh- uh, shortly and everything. But um, yeah. thank you again. Appreciate it. It was a pleasure to meet each and every one of you, and Likewise. I will be in touch with all of y'all, man, for real, man. And um, absolutely, yeah, let's get it. Let's get it, man, for real. So let's do this again sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 yeah, it's too fun. Oh yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. But uh, thank you, everyone, for checking out this episode of Shine of a Comic Book. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then comment below who had the best Star Wars character. And then also let us know what kind of Star Wars character you would have from, you know, what would be the name, planet they from, the occupation, and where you're at in the Star Wars timeline. And then the spice. Yes, <laughs> let us know if you're out here on that. <laughs> I got it for the low. Got it for the low. <laughs> got it for the low. Mm-hmm. Make sure you check out my social platforms. Will Ferrell. I didn't think about that. Ice Spice. That's how she got her name in the galaxy. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 let's say she was when she was working with me, man. She was out here, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when she was working with me, she was out here. one of my uh, top people. So- <laughs> Let me find out this man got a real stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, oh, I'm crying, bro. Y'all gotta stop, man. And we will catch y'all. Y'all thank you.